What's good? It's King Hassani Reacts. Don't forget to like, comment, and what? Subscribe or else you get left behind. And also turn on post notifications so you know every time I drop a new video. And of course, I have to say, Merry Christmas to our subscribers. I'm saying, hope you have a fun Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I might react too, Mr. Beast. So without further ado, let's go. In this video, we're going to help over 100 different stray dogs find a loving home. Something all w. of these dogs have in common is that they were abandoned or rescued from kill shelters. Some of them would have even been dead by the time this video was uploaded. Which is why I brought all of them here to this massive dog sanctuary to get every one of them adopted. And to show you how serious we're taking this video, we have an army of trainers, walkers, and even an entire team dedicated to giving the dogs scratches. Make sure they get lots of love. I want the doggos happy. And the doggos were happy, especially once the first adopter showed up. Welcome. Come on in. What? You're going to adopt a dog even though you already have one? <laughs> yes, we want a small dog to be friends with this guy. And if you're wondering where these two random people came from, we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a statewide act campaign to get as many people here as possible what do you think of biscuit oh she's cute if you're interested we can take them to the park and let them play together yes, that would be amazing oh they're running together yes we love her you want to proceed to the next step yes please we love her so much one down 99 more to go oh we got a runaway dog we got you quartered they're all cheering them on all right whoever adopts rocky Good luck. It's very energetic. And you should know that every person that wants to adopt a dog... Baby. All right, you're free, Barkley. Oh, he's great. I think we're going to do it. ...is first put through extensive background checks... ...by an independent third-party person... ...to make sure they'll be able to provide a safe, stable, and loving home. Barkley's been officially adopted. Thank you. Congratulations. And when the next family came in... Let's go find you guys a dog. They noticed the dog right away. Oh, look at this. He's ready. As many as you can carry, baby. Charlie and Nugget. Oh, they're getting along so well. And after saying bye to Nugget and Charlie, things began to pick up. Hi, I'm Carl. You want to meet a dog in Sediment? Yeah, that's like kind of why I'm here. I'm Chandler. Nice to meet you. How's it going? I'm Jimmy. Hi. You strike me as someone who would like brownie. <laughs> He's cute. It's the end of day one, and eight dogs got adopted. But obviously, that's the a, cute fluffy dog. That's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Having eight dogs adopted, you know what I'm saying? Having dogs period being adopted, that's a blessing. Because, you know, they go through a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a blessing for sure. ...are easy to find homes for. Getting all 100 dogs adopted could literally take months. But at least on day two, thanks to our ad campaign, we had 10 times the amount of people waiting. Oh Here's a cute puppy. You want to play with him? Oh, my gosh. The objective is to hit them with a cute puppy when they walk in the door. Seems to be working. <laughs> I like this one. Oh, I love you. You want to take hands with Let's do that. There's so many people here. I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. I'm taking the stop home. Okay. There we go. Another one adopted. In case you're wondering, these exes don't mean the dogs died. It means they got adopted. <laughs> I like both. See if you can convince them to adopt two dogs. There is a buy one, get one free rule. They're both free. They're both free, actually. Let's get these two. I think you are the one for me, baby. <laughs> we rolled. Rocky out. Chandler is introducing people to dogs. Carl's hanging out with the people in the park to make sure they don't steal the dogs. And Nolan is the closer and making sure they adopt the dogs. Plus, we have like 50 other people running around doing everything in their power to find these dogs' homes. We have a well-oiled machine running, and we will get all these dogs a loving home. And on top of that, every adopter gets an additional surprise. So are you guys certain you want to adopt Thor? Yep, pretty much. Then I have a surprise for you. Every dog that gets adopted, they also come with free pet food for life. Oh, I should oh, probably turn this video to see it. Oh, wow. Free pet food for life and pet insurance for life. Get it. That's a blessing, bro. Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Do we get uh, food for Does life? not come with human food for life. <laughs> Thanks to Spot and Jinx, we were able to provide premium pet food and insurance for all 100 dogs. Let's go! Which literally means free dog food shows up at their door for the entire life of the dog. Oh my w. god. Look at that. Thank you. What kind of angel is doing this? It's my friend Jimmy. Well, tell your friend Jimmy. Thank you. But that was when I met this woman who really stood out to me. Having previously adopted six other dogs in her lifetime. And so we took her to see some dogs. But she fell in love with Zoe right away. That's her, Dane, and she's going to meet Zoe for the first time. Let's so see if they get along dog. Well. Butt sniffs. That's a good sign. We need you to be extra nice to Zoe, okay? Look at them running around. Zoe's gonna be extra happy in this new home. Because now with Zoe, she will be careful. Comment down below 
who has dogs and what kind of dogs you guys have? For a total of seven dogs. Oh, awesome. We wanted to surprise her with a little something extra. We're also going to give you $10,000 in cash. Get out. W. As, long, as you promised to give her lots of scratches. I do that for nothing. Well, now you're doing it for 10 grand. No way. No problem. Uh-oh. I rescued so many babies. I just love them, and they deserve a good home. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to give her a great home. We know that. And even though it was a chaotic day, by the end of day two, we had 44 dogs adopted. But we noticed that there was one dog who got passed up by more families than any other yeah, that day. Sad. This dog's name is Buffett. He only has three legs because, sadly, he was hit by a car. Which, unfortunately, wow, means that's... he just may be the hard... Man, that's unfortunate, bro. This dog, you have a hundred... Seeing that, hearing that, you know what I mean? to find a home for. So this is my favorite dog over here. His name is Buffett. He only has three legs. But luckily for Buffett, we had a few new strategies for tomorrow. Because on day three, we still have over 50 dogs to get adopted. So the first strategy we used is I let everyone into the park and unleashed all of the dogs so that they could choose their own families. You got a camera and you're the cameraman. Oh, beautiful. Have you decided on the baby's name? Oh, I can't wait that one. Hershey? Good dog name, bad chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you can just jump in there. We won't lock you in. All right, you can't leave until you adopt her now. So what do you say? You want to leave? <laughs> yeah, All right, arms up. I'm just kidding. It's a perfect match. Here. <laughs> you think this might be the one? I think so. You want to go home with me? She's so cute. And since we are getting pretty good at adopting dogs, it was time to have a little fun with it. Boy, what am I doing? Lay down and pretend to be asleep whenever they... Oh, she just came in. Hi. <laughs> Stay asleep. Hold on. Is he asleep? Yeah, he's taking a nap. <laughs> he just tucked him in. <laughs> now get up and say, guess nap time's over. Guess nap time's over. And now go back to sleep. Oh. <laughs> oh they think he's crazy. Look here. <laughs> But all jokes aside, the good news is we're finally getting more people to see Buffett. Aww. He likes you guys. Buffett might be about to find a family. But unfortunately... Are you taking Tanner or Buffett? Yeah, I think Tanner. Do you want to take Buffett back? Yeah, I think so. And we'll go take a look at a couple more? Okay. And so we tried again yeah, with these two. Crazy. He's a sweetheart. And he actually gets around really well. But once again... So you, you don't want Buffett? I can't take him. Yeah, come on, good boy. And to be honest, guys, this whole situation made us yeah, really sad. Bro. Which is why we spent 50 grand on a customized Buffett marketing campaign. We will not rest until Buffett has a loving home. As you can see, all the younger dogs are adopted. People are just not looking to adopt older dogs as much. And since that's all we have left... Nah, and I just say, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times when it's older dogs, a lot of, you know, people doesn't want to you know adopt them all you know things like that you know what i'm saying sad though, the for further sure. we go the harder this gets some of these dogs are from a facility called a kill shelter and because they are unable to refuse any animals they are often over capacity and have to put down their dogs to make space for more but fortunately that's not yeah. gonna happen and up next we're on day number four and this time we have dave batista who you might recognize from guardians of the galaxy thank you this one's your favorite she's so loving she's working her magic <laughs> don't give me that look <laughs> she's like come on why don't you adopt me you're usually the adopter yeah i four or all, all rescues might be five soon yeah <laughs> look at us we both look super defined Thank you. <laughs> and now that he looked the part it was time for dave's official initiation this time dave's doing the adoption let's see how good of an actor he is dave when they walk in bark and woof to them as a dog it's an everyday thing for me <laughs> Oh, it's kids. Hello, how are you? Alright, you can stop. You can stop. I don't want to make it too hard on him. Sorry for barking. I've been speaking to dogs all day. We have a prize for you. We have a huge prize for you guys. Free pet food for life from Jinx. And we also have pet insurance for life for your pup yeah oh wow that's amazing but wait there's actually one more surprise there's actually one more surprise and then go to the beach painting turn it around and show them what it says on the back Can I get the picture? <laughs> oh. Oh, <man. laughs> thanks guys <laughs> With Dave now a part of the team, we were adopting dogs faster than ever before. So how's it going? Oh, they're so cute. Are you taking both of them? Yeah, you're not you can't separate them. Let's go get the paperwork Let's ready. Let's do it. And soon enough, we were approaching the final 10 and hardest to get adopted dogs. Hi, baby, yeah. So Dave, you keep coming back to her. What's going on? I have a dog named Penny, and she reminds me of her so much, so it's already feeling like we're connected. I hate seeing her, and I'm always killing me. 
if no one takes her home, I'll take her. If no one adopts her, you'll take her? I'll adopt her, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that. W. She's gonna have a home no matter what. And it wasn't just Dorley. After getting passed up again and again by families all day, Buffett seemed like he was starting to lose hope. But then, something unexpected happened. Buffett seemed pretty cool. My grandpa had a three-legged dog. Can I take him for a walk? Yeah. Yeah. Buffett seemed to warm up to this guy right away. Come on, hop along. Someone might have found Buffett. Buffett had a lot of fun running around, and this guy didn't seem phased by his missing leg at all. So I've seen three-legged dogs do pretty good. I'm feeling really good about this time. I think Buffett is about to find a new home. Let's go, go. Buffett. Yeah, that seems like a good dog. And to ensure that Buffett had the best possible quality of life moving forward, we also had a custom prosthetic leg made for him, and were able to give his adopter $10,000. <laughs> Oh, now we gotta get rid of his kennel. Buffett, we miss you already. It's bittersweet, but it finally feels good to take down his kennel. We'll miss you, Buffett. It's now the start of day five. Only 10 doggos remain. We've made some very serious progress. As there's less dogs, there's less options for people to choose from. So obviously, this is going to get harder. And to kick off today, I brought two of my friends who are looking to adopt dogs. You might know Neil because he lost a million dollars in our videos. Mm -hmm. You might know Dustin because he lost $10,000 like five years ago. It's a lot better than a million. And while you're looking for dogs, because I've spent over $2 million getting dogs adopted, and don't plan on slowing down anytime soon, please, for the love of God, can I tell you about Surfshark? Of course. I'd rather look at the dogs. Surfshark is a private network provider, VPN, that lets you access content not available in your location, as well as browse the web safely and securely. Surfshark was also kind enough to give this shelter $50,000 to help save more dogs. So you should watch this ad. What do you think of Coco? I think Here, Coco. tell me in one second. Sometimes content is only available in a specific country. Luckily, Surfshark has 3,000 servers in 100 different countries, so you can watch movies or shows that aren't specifically available in yours. Anyways, what were you saying? Tell me more about the VPN. Oh, I already did. You want to take Jet out for a walk? Please? Yeah, let's do it. And with Surfshark's alternative ID, you can disguise things like your address, email, and phone numbers from hackers. You're free. Oh, look at him run. Oh, my goodness. What's the verdict? I love playing with this dog, and I want to keep playing with this dog forever. Good enough for me. You think you're going to get Jet? I'm absolutely getting Zeus. Oh, his name's Zeus now. Hey, good enough for me. Did you know if they use discount code MrBeast on Surfshark, they can get up to 83% off? back guarantee so there's literally no reason not to install and give it a try right now you're stupid if you don't neil don't worry you don't have to share checks with him because okay. we have our own checks for you let's go eight dogs remain and we're gonna go find them a home jimmy how do i cash these as we had hoped as more and more people came in some were showing interest in our older dogs is dexter a shepherd or were you interested in a shepherd yes that is exactly what i was interested oh, in <laughs> we got two boys so i think we need like a girl she's ready to come out Pretty girl. So you made up your mind about Dexter. You're taking him home. Oh, yeah, I'm taking Dexter. <laughs> I think we need her in our life. They're so happy. So as we removed some of the final dog's kennels, we started to receive video footage from all of the families who had adopted these dogs so far. And she's loving her new life here. Cooper has been a great addition to our family. This is Hazel. So far, she is doing amazing. Hi, sir. Oh, you got belly rub. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> it was really beautiful. At the start of this video, we had a hundred dogs that had been left in kill shelters or abandoned. But now only two remain, leaving us with Star Crunch and Dorley. And while people are coming to adopt, neither dog seemed to fit what they were looking for. First small dog yesterday. <laughs> we don't actually have any small dogs left. I was really looking for like a younger dog. Yeah, no worries. Do you guys have any small dogs? Sadly, we don't have any more. We were starting to worry that we wouldn't find these two a home, and there was nothing left to do but wait. Star Crunch and Dora Lee. Oh, how's it going? What up? Hi. These are our final two. It's like the last pick in dodgeball. I'm looking for this one. All man. right, Star Crunch can be incredibly shy when she meets new people, but Star Crunch gravitated right to him. We'll call you Crunch. Win him over, Crunch. You're watching all these dogs get adopted. No, Dorley. And even though it was exciting to watch Star Crunch get adopted, it was sad to see Dorley all by herself. Hey, oh my God, she's yeah, actually sad. Hey. She just realized what happened. And now we have one. And we're gonna give whoever adopts Dorley over there an even bigger surprise. That's than a everyone. nice looking dog too. And since she's the only dog left, she doesn't need a kennel. This entire building is her kennel. She's so fast. <laughs> we made sure to give Dorley all the attention the last dog deserved as we waited and waited and waited until finally one person walked in. How's it going, man? This is Dorley. Hey. Oh, Dorley. oh she seems so to like pretty. you. Yeah. She was saved after being abandoned during Hurricane Adopt. 
Dahlia, and now she's just looking for a forever home. I think she just found one. But before you can take Dorothy home, one person has to approve of it. If no one takes her home, I'll take her. How's it going? I need you to give your blessing, okay? They are super happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to give them the paperwork. Take care. Congratulations. Oh, I just oh. hung up on Dave. <laughs> <laughs> He's way too big for you to do that. <laughs> Congratulations on adopting Dorley. And as a reward for adopting the 100th dog, we have $20,000 in cash for you. Are you serious? 20 Bro, what? That's you promise us. You will always take that care of That is crazy. I have one final surprise for the people that helped us get all these dogs adopted. Go on in. Ah! W, Thank W. You for letting us use your place. We want to make a $100,000 donation. So you can keep finding abandoned dogs homes. We also brought a bunch of money for all of you that helped us get them adopted. Thank you, Spot and Jinx. Y'all saw the video. Y'all saw my reaction. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And like I always say, support is free.